Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to film a cash stuffing video with you guys. I have everything that I need here. My everyday budget binder. I have my little two bank pouch here and my savings challenges slash sinking funds um, binder here as well which I will be stuffing today so I am all ready to go if you guys are interested in anything that you see in this video definitely go ahead and check out my shop arminarosa.com which is where you can get every single one of these things I do have these pink binders with various different challenges and I even have a challenge um, like starter bundle. If you guys are looking for a beginner friendly way to start up with savings challenges and then inside here which is my everyday budget binder like I mentioned I have here my pink glitter um, Hello Kitty Luxe envelopes which are back in stock just in case you guys are interested in them. I sell them in sets of threes. And then the rest I have my vellum envelopes which are also available in the shop. So all in all I have a bunch of things in the shop for all of your budgeting needs. But without any further ado let's go ahead and get started. I am going to first before I stuff my envelopes set up my second paycheck spread in my Erin Condren monthly planner. This is the budget planner that I've been using for a few years now. Um, I haven't been filming weekly check-ins, but I have been checking in. So I did go ahead and set up, I believe my budget with you guys. And then this is how I set up my first paycheck spread. I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing for a second paycheck, which we're doing things a little bit different now. We're going by Victor's pay period. The first paycheck for June was on June 9th, and the second paycheck is on June 23rd, which is the day that I'm filming this. I'm filming and stuffing on the very same day that we're getting paid. I'm going to set up, like I mentioned, my second paycheck spread and I'm just going to use the leftover floral washi here. It did take us quite a bit to adjust or at least for me to a first a paycheck to paycheck budget and then to the actual schedule because I've always budgeted on a monthly basis in the past so when I had to budget for Victor's pay schedule, it kind of just caught me off guard a little bit. So we have, of course, Victor's income. And I will write the day of the paycheck, which is June 23rd. And then I will write my name for my shop and I like to skip a line just in case I earn let's say extra income or we earn extra income like side hustles and whatnot so then I'll grab a glitter header and write down my bills and expenses I do apologize I'm filming this at night and usually I film in the daytime so there's definitely extra background noise for my family being here and then it's just really dark so the lighting might be off but I'm going to start with my bills and expenses. First I am going to write storage which we've been splitting the storage in two so we got $94 from the first paycheck and this one will be budgeting $93. This is due, I believe, on the 25th. So right after we get paid. So we'll have enough to pay for that. Then I want to write health insurance, which also gets pulled out every single paycheck. It actually gets pulled out before we even see the paycheck. So I'm not gonna put a due date. And this is half of what we pay a month. So every paycheck we're paying $264.09. And then I'm going to write rent. 
in here which will be due on the first so as you can see um, this paycheck is going to cover some days at the end of June and the beginning of July so rent is 250 and then the last bill that I'll be writing in here will be my car payment which is also due on the first and that is 348.06 so those are all of the bills that we have for this paycheck and I'll just go ahead and skip a line and move on to cash envelopes and sinking funds So cash envelopes and sinking funds right there. For cash envelopes, we have our groceries, eating out, household, gas beauty our allowances and that's pretty much it for this paycheck last paycheck we had another one for haircut for Victor but he's not getting that done this paycheck he only gets that once a month so I'll write in the totals there and out for the amounts it's pretty much the same as last paycheck we pretty much split in half 190 for groceries 200 for eating out household gets $30 gas will be getting 130 this paycheck beauty We'll also be getting $30 and allowances will get $100, so $50 each. In total, that is $680 for cash envelopes. And then for sinking funds, we're only stuffing, we only have two at the moment, which one is for Christmas. And we have one for gifts, which the gifts I won't be physically stuffing in this video just because it was something that was sent um, through Zelle. So I will only be stuffing Christmas, which is getting $62. And this was 24. And in total, sinking funds got $86. This paycheck. And then let me add up my bills. which total up to 9.55 with 15 cents. So that's pretty much going to be it for this second paycheck setup. And now let me go ahead and set up to do my cash stuffing. So in total today we are stuffing 7.42, which I'm going to be stuffing my envelopes and I'm also going to be stuffing Victor's envelopes, which yes, he does have his very own budget binder and that's actually one of our new releases. If you guys are interested in more like neutral, minimalistic type of budget binders, they will be going up on the day that this video goes live, which I believe will be Sunday the 25th. So let me go ahead and show you guys really quick his budget binders. And I'm sorry the lighting is about to go a little bit crazy, but these are his two budget binders and the ones that will be coming to the shop. This is the brown or camel color and then we have the black version as well. He's been using these for 
a few months since we started budgeting so if you guys are more into neutral not super pink in your face or if you would like to get one for maybe your significant other definitely check these out um, I will give you guys a little walkthrough because of what he has inside in here I know I know he has personal information in, in here but he has my old two bank envelope as well as like a ruler he uses the three um, card little slots he has like two of these um, he has a bill tracker and then a page lifter on the back and this one is the one that he takes with him in his work bag and it just has his debit cards um, an ID here I put a little sticky note there he has one of these cash envelope trackers which I started offering these with the extra lamination after a request from you guys and although this has not been up on the website this colorway which is going to be my neutral colorway I currently only have the pink one I believe I will also be listing it with these binders so definitely check this out if you guys would like a more neutral colorway but as you guys can see um, he does track like our groceries eating out and these are his envelopes, which I have stuffed before. I'm not sure if on this channel, but he has eating out envelope, spending, gas, and one for his haircut. And then of course he has our microperm permanent marker pen there. So he's able to write on the laminated spending trackers, but it's pretty much how his looks nothing too crazy but i did want to show you guys because i've been having a bunch of these just waiting around for me to release them and i thought it'd be perfect to just show you guys how victor uses these and let's go ahead and get started with our stuffing <clears throat> let me I don't know if my family is being super loud or if it's just me usually. Okay. This is this was honestly the only time I could film because I was very busy earlier today, so I apologize. Hopefully I'm able to film these a little bit earlier other days. Let's start with my envelopes. So this one is my groceries envelope, which will be getting 190. We were over budget last paycheck, so I'm going to stuff this with 190, but then I'll subtract how much we were over budget with, just because we want to see if we can stay under the monthly budget that we set out for ourselves. If we're still over, then we'll still be over, um, but I really want to try to commit to the budget. I think I got an extra 10 here, but we have 150, 70, and 90. So that's what's going to go in our groceries envelope. Then we have eating out, which with eating out, I will give part of it to Victor just because he's the one who could potentially be eating out for lunch during his work days, which are three times a week. So I will stuff this one, but then I'll separate some of this money and give it to him for his eating out envelope. Or I might just do it right now so you guys can see. So for eating out... This is getting 200. It's gonna be 150, 70, 90, and 200. And then I think we have like $7 in here. We did go get some Tierra Mia today. So that was this. Then this one is household, which household is getting $30. It's just a 20 and a 10, and this already had some money. If you guys are wondering when I will be stuffing my savings challenges with the extra money for my envelopes, I like to do that at the end of the month. So once we get, we move on to the next paycheck for the month of July. So we have 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right here. Then for gas, we are splitting it. We're doing 130, but I will be doing 40 for my gas. 
So that's 40 for mine. There. Beauty will be getting 30 as well. Which is another category that I'm actually $2 over. So I have to take that out. But I'll do that once the video is over so that it's just not super long. And then my allowance, I will be getting 50. Let's put that in there. And those are my envelopes, which I'll put... Actually, I'll leave on the side here. And then moving on to Victor's envelopes. Take them out. The only one that's not getting stuffed again will be his haircut envelope and I'm usually the one that carries the groceries envelope because I mean, we go get groceries every Monday together regardless but let's see for his spending he's getting $50 as well I feel like my dad is being super loud right now for gas, 90 because I got 40. So 20. I think I should have not had this many tens left, but. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, and 90. And that way he can do 45 and 45. I think I'm going to change some bills, just so that he doesn't have that many 20s. Um, I think I'll change it from, I think I'll change a 20 from my gas. There we go. So that will be for his gas. For eating out, I will do fifty. And then if he needs more, then I'll go ahead and give him more. But usually we eat out together. This is just for extra um, if he needs for his lunches throughout the week, which he's been doing really good about taking leftovers, so he doesn't usually use that, but he went to like a soccer game this past week and he did use money from his eating out envelope. So that's why he has that. So those are all of our envelopes all stuffed and ready to go his and hers. <laughs> How cute is that? And then the last money that I have here is for my Christmas savings challenge, which is in this little binder. If you guys are wondering, I have been stuffing my $500 savings challenge as well as my $1 savings challenges, but those, once again, don't get stuffed until the end of the month. So this is the one that will be getting stuffed, and the Christmas savings challenge is getting $62, so that's the rest of this money, 50, 60, 1, and 2. And with this, I believe I can go ahead and check some wreaths off. So let's grab this and my money, get this out of the way. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 375, which means that we can check off. 15 wreaths, which is so exciting. We do have a goal, by the way, of saving $1,250 for Christmas, which honestly, I would be happy if we got to even a thousand, that would be great. But the way that we're stuffing this 
savings challenge, I think. I definitely see us reaching our goal. But that is all that I have for today. I do have a gifts little envelope here, which is not going to get anything today. That is going to now be it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope it was not too long for you guys. As always, don't forget to check out my shop, RominaRosa.com, if you guys are interested in any of the new goodies, as well as all of the ones that are already up on the site. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And I will see you guys on my next budget video. Bye, guys.